Hi, it's Tanya with Get Scrappy With It um, with another unboxing. This is the second of today, Monday, November 16th. Um, Crafter's Companion, and this is still stuff from the birthday event. So I did go ahead and knife it open and such, but I have not uh, gone through the stuff or really registered what the contents are. So let's let's go ahead and open. Okay. okay. Oh. <gasps> Ooh. I think this must have my Spectrum Noir Taster Kit in it because I see a blending tool and some blending pads and some blending sponges. Very excited because I actually almost ordered these. <laughs> I wanted to get a pack, so this is really cool. Oh, goody! Additional portrait pens. So these are always good for, um, for face blending. I like this because um, I will definitely go through my tri-blends on these colors. And what else do we have here? <gasps> Ooh! We've got, which one is it? Gold brown. And you know what? I was just thinking I was going to need to get the refill for the GB1 because I used a ton of it on my Christmas candles that I've been coloring in uh, for the Christmas cards. So this is timely. Um, of course, another one of the Aqua Crafters Companion exclusive purple uh, markers. And color blends in bold brights. I don't think I have these yet. I have another set that I have from a prior taster bag. Hold on a sec. Oh, no, these are actually color tints. Oh, so this is fantastic. So I have color blends and color tints. Yay! All right, that's going to be fun to play with. I got to get out my gamma saw because I always forget about the gamma saw, but that's a great way to blend the pencil strokes so that they look smooth because they don't like the pencil finish. Okay. So then let's see what we have here. Now these two I ordered. I did not get the whole set for these. I did get just these two um, because the, these fill a certain, oh, not gap, but they add something more to my collection, whereas the others, um, I, I, I feel like kind of covered for a while, but we'll see. The home, because I'll be just real estate. And I think this will be great with a little welcome and home for um, when he you know, sells a house or rents out an apartment. And the congrats, kind of for the same stuff, but also just general, like congrats on the new job, congrats on, you know, this, that, or the other. And I think that's just a great um, congratulation presentation. I, I just really like it. <laughs> okay, then we have... The paper craft die. Oh, I like this. Why do I think? <gasps> yep, this is definitely another taster set in here. Absolutely. There's other taster stuff going on in here. So, this must be taster because it's got... Uh, I'm trying to see if you can see this better. It's like a bow in there. Can you can you tell that from there? Let me see. There we go. There's It's a bow. It's like a lacy bow. Um, it's a card belly band. Um, to like hold your card closed. You know, like if you have a gatefold or something else and that, you know, is prone to, to fall open, you can send it with this and they slide it off and they can open the card. And it's beautiful, right? And Prinsettia Perfection, um, uh, the Joyous Noel stamps. Um, let's see, it says, along with loving thoughts of just how wonderful you are, come wishes that this Christmas is your very best by far. Aw, Joyous, uh, Joyous, not Joyous, but Christmas Noel. Yeah, that's Joyous. Uh, joyous and merry and may the spirit of christmas bring joy to your heart and happiness to your home so those are lovely sentiments those are going to go in my christmas word um project binder so the large purple um stamp and die binder that i showed you earlier i have one that's for all my christmas words um, i do not have one that's for my christmas images um those are just in my usual stamp stash with the category for christmas but the word ones, because I have those large verse stamp sets from Crafter's Companion, I decided to move all of the Christmas words over into that binder because I'm really only going to pull them out and use them together. I'm not going to use them the rest of the year. So it makes sense to keep them all together, pull them out when it's Christmas time, go through my stuff and know, I have, and know exactly where it is and be able to lay my hands on it quickly. Um, 
I don't pack it away though. Like some people would go to pack that stuff away with all of their Christmas goodies. I don't do that. And I won't do that because too many times we have Christmas bins that don't make it out in time <laughs> or that we can't find in the attic. So no, I'm not packing that stuff away like that. Enough about me. Enchanted Forest. This is cool. Like hanging vines. Oh, the Freesia. Not Freesia. Uh, is it Freesia? There was a flower, there's a hanging flower, uh, multi-layer piece that I recently got that would look stunning with this. So this is a stencil and then I could put those um, flowers on top of it. It would look fantastic on a card as a border. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, oh, and I was going to order some of these because I can't find mine. Uh, brush markers. So this must be part of that Spectrum Noir Taster set. Um... That's fantastic. That is perfect. Okay. And then I'm guessing this was also part of that. And it's the Grasshopper Water Reactive dye. So that's awesome color. You know, I, I love my greens. So this is going to be fantastic. Yay. Now I did recently order a bunch of the water reactives. So this will be like a duplicate for me, but probably a good idea because that's a great, uh, uh, not floral, but uh, foliage green. I'm going to use it a lot. This looks like it's part of a taster, is it? Uh, is there a die cutting taster bag? Hold on a second, I'm gonna off camera check my slip. Cause you know I don't look at these things. Um, Cause I don't wanna give up the goose. Oh, it's a lucky dip. Yeah, this one has all my lucky dips in it. Okay, cool. So, let's see. This is one lucky dip. Now I went for the one the one dollar lucky dip, the three dollar lucky dip, the five dollar lucky dip, the ten dollar lucky dip, and they had said like up to three will be no repeat, so I got three. And then on the TV they said five, so I added two more of each. I went for lucky dips. <laughs> it's too much fun. I love this. Oh, I have a total thing about snowflakes, and this is going to make gorgeous cards with glitter card and mirror card oh my god that's gonna be stunning i'm gonna have to play with that listen to me i'm like all like all is calm all is bright like holy voiced about snowflakes i get like that i'm, I'm crazy but winter wonderland i've never seen this collection this collection is before my time with Shopping with Crafters Companion here on Crafters TV. So I'm really excited for this. That just looks gorgeous. Okay. Enough jewel. Budding Blossom Bloom. So this was the freebie for the day. This embossing folder. And that is super pretty. You know, snowflakes, roses. I've got a thing. Peacocks, feathers. Like peacock feathers specifically. And there's the image on the back side of the of the embossing folder. <gasps> Yay. That's going to be very fun to play with. I mean, I can use that as a background for so many different cards. So, so many different cards. Okay. Just about anything floral. Here's another lucky dip. This is Diamond Edge. I don't think I have this one. And see this. Okay. So Heartfelt makes these. I think I talked about this before, but Heartfelt makes these kinds of like scalloped um, edges that you can put for cards or for mini albums and stuff. And they've done it for a long time and they're beautiful, but I've never really gotten into them. But I really like the way Gemini does them. And do you, I don't know if you can really tell, but they look like they might be two different plates. I'm trying to see. Maybe not. Uh, maybe they're just one in this. Well, no, I swear, I think that's two. So one is the edge and one is the detail, which means if I just want that floral flourish, I can just go for that or I can cut that out of a patterned paper to be my only um, like embellishment edge or I can do this real um, de ornate detail on the inside. I love that flexibility because I don't always want all of this going on. That's not always what I'm in the mood for or what I think fits the the occasion so oh that's gonna be awesome okay more tasters more lucky dips so this oh a champagne bottle that's great you really can't go wrong and i oh look at that inner piece i could use the outer piece 
to cut like foam and acetate, like the outer and inner together and make the inner the shaker. <gasps> that could be so cool. Oh, that would be awesome. Okay. Um, and then it says here, it's your day. You did it. Um, I hope your birthday is a bu is as bubbly as the fizz in your Prosecco. <laughs> and wishing you health, wealth, and happiness. It's your day. I think I already read that one. But And then it's got tags. And um, I guess I'm not really sure what that is, but I'm sure I'll figure it out as I play with it. Uh, these are the dies right here. So you can do like the, the fancy champagne label kind of stuff. I'm going to have fun with that. I might just have to make a couple shakers like that. Mm. Ooh. Floral arrangement. I'm trying to get a good look at this. So this is another where it's two pieces. One is the edge and one is the cut, the detail cut. So you can cut into or you can cut out of or you can do both. Um, that is really neat. I know some people would look at this and say paper piecing. That's more detail than I ever want to paper piece. <laughs> <laughs> if that's your thing, I'm happy for you. Not me. That is a whole lot of detail. Wow. And here's the other side. The image. Yep. It shows that there are two different pieces there. And that's the detail. It's really quite pretty. I look at this and I kind of almost see how, I wonder if you could fold the sides and make it like a little pocket. We'll have to see. I'll have to see if that's an option here. If you cut that detail and then cut the solid, layered them up and used it to make like a little pocket. Oh, well. <gasps> oh. I've not seen this before. Sparkling tree. I like this lucky dip. So it looks, yeah, it's an edgeable. There's a break here and here in the outline. So you can cut it out of this edge, cut it out of that edge, cut the whole thing out. Or just cut it in. Wow. Oh, that's super cool. Just in case you're trying to see the detail there. All the swirls and stuff. It's beautiful. And here's the examples on the other side. Just trying to make sure I'm not getting too much light glare. That you can actually see what's going on here. Fantastic. Eek. Okay. Another lucky dip. This is rose hip. Oh, there's the rose hips themselves. It's a 3D embossing die. And there's the samples. So that plus that equals that. So hold on a second. It includes a stencil. Okay, so you use the embossing folder with a stencil. You can color up the specific parts of the embossing that you want without hitting the rest. Very cool concept. I hope they do more of this. Obviously, they walked away from it for the more recent ones. But I like that. I like that a lot. All right. What's this? Okay, so paper tags and shapes. Okay. And a manila folder. Interesting. So when you're done with your manila folders and you want to throw them out because they're kind of look a little worn, you could always die cut them and use them. Never thought about doing that before. But they make cute labels. That's cool. Um, oh, Yupo paper. So they did promise the Yupo paper would be in the Spectrum Noir taster bag. This Yupo paper is expensive stuff, let me tell you. It's basically got a finish on it, like a, um, a photo paper that you would like load into your printer to print off a 5x7 or a 4x6. Um, this one's a little more matte than the ones I played with before. Oh no, there's the gloss. So it's got a gloss. No, they're both matte. This is a little more of a matte finish than the Yupo paper I've worked with before. Maybe somebody's going to say I'm an idiot that all you put papers finish the same. But that's how it felt when I took the class anyway. It felt like more of a glossy uh, photo card print finish. But this stuff um, allows you to play with your alcohol inks. Um, your Spectrum Noir re-inkers would work just the same as if you used 
like a Tim Holtz or Ken Oliver or some other brand alcohol uh, droppers um, or alcohol inkers. And you can use them with um, Gamasol or rubbing alcohol um, to blend up the inks before they soak into the paper. Um, you could do some really neat techniques, but basically it really slows the alcohol absorption time. Well, I guess you could watercolor on too. I've never tried that. I played with it with, um, alcohol inkers, as you can tell from what we just talked about. <laughs> so it's neat stuff. Um, I'm not crazy about it, but I probably wouldn't mind playing with it again for you guys. Just not something I would go out and get for myself. I mean, I know it's a high value, but I played with it. I kind of been there, done that. I'm, I'm good. Now, I recently got this pack on its own for me because I needed it. Um, but I am more than happy to have um, an extra set because this is something I'll go through. I've already gone through two, two three packs of sparkle pens. Um, so this also has the gold and the black in it, which I know I'll be using because it's me, frankly. I'll be using these. These are Spectrum Noir sparkle pens in the silver, gold, and black. Okay. And aqua markers, brights. I think I recently got primaries. So this will be good to have the brights because my original set of aqua markers, my youngest, who's very crafty, um, has unfortunately used them like the regular markers and has destroyed the nibs. <laughs> destroyed the nib. So just when I was at the point of like, I'm going to have to order an all new aqua marker set, they came out with the aqua tricolor markers. I'm very happy that they did because I snagged them. But not all of the colors from the original aqua marker set are done in tribe colors. I can't call them tribe blends and tricolors yet. So I've kept the um, single color pens that aren't in the tricolor pens yet. So I'm a little blended right now, basically. <laughs> Pun wasn't intended, but glad I made it. <laughs> okay. Mask and stencil set. Uh, okay, so it's a friend mask and a floral stencil. Or it's just the friend part. Uh, that's neat. I got one stencil and seven mask pieces. So the one, one, hey, sorry guys, um, my phone kind of hit full memory, so it stopped recording, so I real quick just deleted some, like, error stuff, and I've got, like, a minute to wrap this up. <laughs> so that's the stencil there, so that's pretty cool that it includes the masks to be able to do the mask technique, and the stencil to be able to actually color in the stencil part, so very nice there. That's another lucky dip. Now this must be from the Spectrum Noir Taster Kit. And I'm very excited because somehow I thought I'd missed on getting this pad. Um, but I'm really glad that I got it because I intend to include it in my brother's Christmas present. Um, so this is perfect. It's a black Spectrum Noir paper pad, 9 by 12 He's going to love uh, working with stuff on that that I've gotten him for Christmas. <laughs> Yay! All right. So thanks guys so much for watching. Um, those are my lucky dips and my Spectrum Noir Taster Bag from Crafters Companion Birthday Week. And go have fun and enjoy your crafting. Bye.